It's so rampant, you probably know someone whose identity was stolen and used to file an unemployment claim. I don't know if they'll call us and tell us that it got fixed. Hopefully they do. Michael and Kathy Bush were baffled when they read the three names listed on the letters the state of Ohio's unemployment office sent to him. We got Cindy Johnson, we got Dana Johnson, maybe her cousin, and Bobby Boone. What a name. People they don't know. Are they friends of yours? Not friends of mine. Even more strange, the letters listed Michael as their employer. Are you an employer? <laughs> no. I then immediately knew that this was some sort of identity fraud. She would know. Kathy is an employer. Her family runs Kemper House, an assisted living facility for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. It has its own share of real headaches from fake unemployment claims. It's devastating. It's not only devastating, it's so discouraging. Kathy's sister, Kristen, says for months they've received unemployment claims for people who have never worked for them or haven't worked for them in years. Even a claim was filed for their dad, who is now a patient at Kemper House. And he hasn't obviously been able to work or live outside of here for years. Even more troubling, Kristen's attorney reported the fraud to the state, but Ohio still paid some of those claims. Let's fight them. But to what end? Because they're going to allow them anyway. So just how widespread is unemployment fraud in Ohio? The state wouldn't tell us the total number of suspicious claims, but we do know just since mid-January, close to 15,000 employers have reported fraudulent claims and close to 300,000 people have reported their identities were stolen and used to file for unemployment. Markers and patterns of fraud. Even Governor Mike DeWine, his wife Fran, and Lieutenant Governor John Houston had claims filed in their names. My claim actually came out of California. Even though he's never worked in the state, Houston says states were unprepared for the pandemic surge in unemployment claims. Ohio had only 44 workers in its unemployment office in March of 2020 and an outdated computer system. It's been probably one of the greatest sources of frustration for me during this entire pandemic. I think we're having a pandemic during the pandemic. Steve Wiseman is an attorney and cybercrime expert who says most unemployment fraud in Ohio involves a single Nigerian cybercrime gang. They buy social security numbers stolen from data breaches off the dark web, then use the personal information to file unemployment claims. We have to, by necessity, do better. Because money meant to help struggling Americans is ending up in the hands of criminals. In Ohio, at least $330 million was made in improper payments. Nationwide, an estimated $63 billion. But Peter Eskew, a cybercrime security expert working with 23 states, says the actual total is much higher. We estimate that the United States has paid over $200 billion to nefarious actors. Much of it linked to the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program for self-employed and gig workers. Eskew says as many as one-third of those claims are fakes. It's not even in the same conversation how, how widespread it is. And criminals will try anything, even using masks, to try to outsmart facial ID verification in the states where it's required. You'll see masks from Target and Walmart, but then you'll also see synthetic uh, sort of 3D renderings and printing that are really sophisticated, kind of Hollywood movie style. Ohio is now taking action, spending millions of dollars to hire companies like Experian, Google, and IBM to root out fraud. But that also means it's taking longer to cut checks for valid claims. Take Jeffrey Baker. I mean, this is nuts here. You want to take a look at that? He can barely book enough clients to pay rent, so he applied for assistance in January. I understand that's what's going on, but we need to find a better way to. And only got help after we got involved. This isn't fraud, <laughs> obviously. In Cleveland, I'm Five On Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison.